Hey everybody, Debt-Free Degree with Dr. Roz. Today I'm sharing with you my personal debt-free degree story. As many of you know, I earned three degrees, including my PhD, and I only took $1,000 in loans. And I'm going to walk you through that. So when I'm talking about a debt-free degree, it's not just a theory that somebody said that I've just um, glommed onto. This is something that I've actually lived and I have helped hundreds of students and their families save millions of dollars. So let me just dive in a little bit to my story. Number one, my parents just instilled in me that we don't go into debt for education. And so that was just always, um, you know, when we talk about Stephen Covey, begin with the end in mind, I knew that loans was not the option. And so trying to figure things out. So as an undergrad uh, at my getting my bachelor's degree, I uh, was eligible for Pell Grant. That made me eligible for work study. And so I worked 20 hours a week in the psychology department. And then I did two 12-hour shifts at a local psychiatric hospital on the weekends. So my major was psychology. I was grateful that both my work study position and my, um, my job also gave me opportunities to network, to utilize what it was I was learning in the classroom and to be able to put it into use immediately and um, think about additional opportunities, think about additional uh, educational trajectories. And so both of those two things combined were amazing opportunities. And it meant that I worked 44 hours a week. So one of the things I often talk about is 40 hours a week is 24% of our week. And I still got decent grades. I think I had a 3.3 GPA when I graduated from college. And I was in a sorority. I enjoyed, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> and so um, there were just a lot of opportunities in addition to the fact that I was working 44 hours a week. So one quarter, yes, that's how old I am. One summer quarter, um, Pell Grant did not cover in the summer. And so I went to financial aid to check out scholarships. And what they said was, oh, uh, uh, just take the loan and figure out how to pay it off later. And so it was $1,000. That's where my $1,000 came in. Otherwise, I, I would have graduated fully debt-free with my undergrad. So of course, $1,000 is not that much money. But you can see how there are well-intentioned folks in these financial aid offices that their mission, their begin with the end in mind is not how can you graduate debt-free in most cases. It is how can we help you secure the funding so that you can pay tuition and stay here at our college or our university. And so just understand when you go to talk to these people that um, that's often their mission. Nothing wrong with that mission. It's just that that's their mission. So, uh, so I did my undergrad and then, um, when I went for my master's, my son was just months old. He was not even sleeping through the night. And I got an email and it said um, that the Rehab Services Administration is offering um, grant funding for a master's in rehabilitation counseling through San Diego State. And I essentially had about 10 days to uh, get all my applications together. Thankfully, when I had uh, finished my undergrad, just something, I just on a whim, I took the GRE and thankfully the GRE was still in date that my, my results and it was within the margin of what we needed. It was a, nothing stellar. I'm not particularly proud of that score, but it was enough to get me in and that's great. So basically re uh, rehabilitation uh, services administration, basically what they said was um, for every year that you're in school, then you need to work in the field of rehabilitation counseling. So work with people with disabilities for two years. So it took me three years to get my master's. So that was the first three, but then three times two is six. So three plus six is nine. It took me nine years to pay back my uh, grant through Rehab Services Administration. Now, at the time that I accepted this grant, I knew that if I didn't work in the field, I'd need to pay that money back. And I was completely fine with that because I knew that I wanted to work with people with disabilities. And I absolutely loved my job, although not not to negate what I just said, I didn't know what opportunities lay ahead. So at that time, I was working for uh, state vocational rehab. Then I became... Um, part of disability services in higher education. And that started my trajectory working directly in higher education. Then I went to another institution as their director of disability services. And it was there that there was an opportunity for me to apply for a different position, career services. 
and the career services position had a staff, it had a better office, it just offered me more opportunities to work with more of the students on campus. However, because it wasn't directly tied to students with disabilities, it didn't pay back the grant. So although, although it was more money and although it was, you know, had a lot of perks, I didn't even apply for that because I would have had to pay back the entire grant, which I did not want to do. And then for my PhD, again, I was working in higher ed, working for a, a university system school in uh, Georgia. And one of the benefits of working for the university system of Georgia is I, every employee would get tuition and fees at any other in-state institution. It did not have to be directly tied to your job. And so that's how I got my PhD for free. And so that was different than the Rehab Services Administration grant because um, it was a, an employee benefit. So it wasn't that I had to work in the field to pay that back. But I want you all to understand that it's entirely possible, especially if you start early, it's entirely possible to map your plan through your, a terminal degree. So I have my PhD. Um, I've helped people, you know, look at how can I become a dentist debt-free? How can I become a doctor debt-free? How can I become a lawyer debt-free? So it's just thinking about that mindset of how we can do it. And um, I am delighted to share my story. I am delighted that you're interested in debt-free degree and look forward to many more conversations with y'all. Thank y'all so very much. Appreciate y'all.